Yes, it is me, Sai, your anime protagonist VTuber, and welcome back to Cyrus Reactions, where I react to anime that are in my to-watch list, and today, we are going to react to episode 15 of Kage no Jitsuru, uh, Eminence in the Shadow, <laughs> The Eminence in the Shadow, episode 15, but before we start our reaction, let's have a recap, so basically, uh, last episode, we witnessed the atomic atomic the atomic power you know uh yeah basically last time we was the continuation of uh the previous episode where our boy uh sid or shadow uh fought the uh what you call this the projection i think it's a projection so the memory projection of the hero olivier and my boy uh just went all atomic on the place uh by destroying the sanctuary destroying the arm we got ourselves a few um uh, uh, tidbits and clues so it seems like the witch of calamity was the demon diabolos is, is she it like i don't know so she's the demon diabol so, so so she must have been like like the other uh experimented children uh, where they were able to uh, transform her to fully into a Diabolos and got the arm. Uh, so the arm was hidden in the sanctuary and that's where the cult like creates their you know miracle peel pills or you know beads of Diabolos to make them immortal. But now it's been destroyed uh, so that I think the cult is gonna be out for revenge for our boy. Uh, and yeah it kind of makes sense that she was the demon diabolic but i don't know why maybe it's because of the changing of history why they separate the witch of calamity from the demon i guess in, in terms of history but yeah so that's basically it we got more answers last episode and then uh uh on the second half i guess uh you have the princesses the two princesses alexia and rose uh so the princess of oriana and the princess of what's what's the kingdom's name of, i i forgot i forgot the uh, alexia's kingdom's name but yeah so you have alexia and uh rose and beta they're going to create their own team i guess are they going to join forces into the crimson knights or are they going to make their own team maybe maybe they're gonna make their own team but beta uh, as you know, a double agent working for Shadow Garden, uh, trying to guide or manipulate the princesses uh, in order to serve their purpose. Uh, and so yeah, and also last episode, we they struck oil. They found oil. So um, looks like Shadow Garden is going to be one of the richest oil barons. Th this is some raw child shit, man. Not, not, not raw child, Rockefeller shit. <laughs> Uh, because oil is Rockefeller. Uh, Rockchild is more of the banking system. I don't know. Maybe they would also introduce banking system and shit like that. But yeah, uh, this is some Rockchild shit. They're going to have a monopoly in uh, oil. <laughs> so uh, Rockchild, Rockefeller shit. So I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. I guess they discovered oil already and uh, I don't know what. Are they going to bring in the modern age into this world? Who knows? Let's start this reaction already. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, I do anime reactions, I upload random stuff, and I also stream games. So if you guys want to join in, hang out sometimes, hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. Due to copyright issues, I am not putting any footage in my video, but I would leave a timer so you can synchronize with a legal copy or a legal streaming service of your choice. So without further ado, let's do this. Uh, Eminence in the Shadow, episode 15. Reaction starts in 3, 2, 1, go. Here, Bush and Festival too. Okay, Are, is there? Looks like there's gonna be a new festival called the Bushin Festival. Uh huh. That guy's dead for sure, huh? Uh huh. Ooh, even fighters from the east. Okay, so this is like uh, a tournament festival for sword fighting. Hey, 
Thank you, background I trust. You've helped me remember what it is I must do. What? This transcends the line of race. Uh huh. Sponsors, the fighters, the spectator. They all want one thing, one thing only. Absolute strength. <laughs> uh huh. To conceal my imminent powers, enter the tournament and make all spectators for a thing. Uh huh. Okay, wait, I think. Why? Is he going to reveal his power now to the world? <laughs> oh, it's part of his bucket list too. A big way has come to town. Uh-huh. Wait, is he going to reveal his powers now? Because he said it's part of his bucket list. Uh, because he's been considered weak all this time. Is, is he planning to like reveal his strength now? What a fucking weirdo! <laughs> da, 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 da. Okay, so this opening must be real though. Looks like they're gonna be the ones who are going to bring the modern age in this world. <laughs> because they they discovered petroleum, right? So they must be the one who's going to make these bil big buildings. Oh yes, oh yes. Da 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 <laughs> Ah yes The strongest weakest man Okay. <laughs> oh man, what a klutz. Your nose is bleeding. I want to disguise myself and enter the Bushin Festival. Not my ask me that. Uh huh. Bring the items. Ooh. Why? Are they gonna give him her him makeup or something? Okay. Enhance using godlike wisdom of the shadows. Slime. Oh. Changes the texture that bit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Finish. Hmm. Okay. You're like this, uh-huh, ooh, mundane man, he's lazy and dark, uh-huh, there's the song by Snowball family five years ago. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, are they going to make... Yo, what kind of contraption is this? Oh, okay, that's nice.
Hunch soldiers. Oh, he's trying. He's okay. So he's not gonna reveal himself. So he's gonna act like some weak man. She understands it. Former of this guy is probably one of the fruits of that knowledge. The brains. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> Yo, she needs. She's always. She start. She needs to stop wearing high heels. If she's this much of a clutch, oh my god! Like I know she's smart and shit, but uh Seven Blades. Oh, is this a new waifu? Is this a new waifu? Like her design though. The purple hair. Cheap sword, sickly body. One look at you, tell anyone you're an amateur. Uh huh. You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. I don't need your help. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> oh my god, my boy's enjoying himself. Like, this is like every weeb's dream. Okay, I could relate to this. Like, I like stories wherein people underestimate the main protagonist and then they kick their ass. Green Todd. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm at least stronger than you. Ride a big wave. partly masochist too as well he likes getting himself beat up what a total psycho if i'm honest the unarmed combat in this world is entirely as sophisticated <laughs> there was a tournament for unarmed gorillas i meant humans uh-huh uh-huh oh go for the eyes yo he's just imagining shit ah oh, man and he's letting himself get beat up uh-huh oh two level fight Yes, establishing that he's the weakest of all. Uh huh. And then, well, that couldn't you? Minute damage from something in the tournament. Mm hmm. I've been a long time since I tasted blood. It's been a long time since I've <laughs> talking like a psycho. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The new waifu. Mundane man. Mundane man. Uh huh. Jemina. He's a low level grad that. Ah, ha, 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 ha. 
Aha. He might be pretty good. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Yeah, Jemina. Why did they translate his entire name to? Like, they could have stick with Jemina, it's a name. But they translated it in the subtitles. Because it's kind of weird. It's kind of like Jojo, man. Like, they have a different subtitle from what they're saying in the Japanese. Especially for the stand names. But his name is like Jemina, but it means mundane. So they really did translate the name. That's why sometimes it's weird, like he's saying Jemina and then I look at it's a name. That's why I find it kind of weird too. Who's most likely to win? Uh-huh. Ooh! Ooh, wait! Alexia's sister is competing? Okay. Ah, uh, Rose is there too. so sure the way you need them right <laughs> oh my god it's got a gamble any fight with one of the favorites is going to attract a lot of attention i will really have to think about oh oh no it's her just bang her already said <laughs> he's she's really into you Yes, they're already planning. Sounds like painful grouping together. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, so they're basically going out now. Hating your own reflection. So she thinks Beta and Alexia has the same, uh, the same character. Perfect. <laughs> I spare you my congratulations. Uh-huh. See the point of swinging a sword? Uh-huh. What? Are they a bunch of mages? How are they going to defend the nation if they cannot fight? <laughs> I'm... I never abandoned my ideals, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hmm? 
and then they fought. Oh man, my boy creating a harem, but doesn't care. Try and relax a little. Okay, so the other guy is plowing a potato field. Uh huh. Tabulate all the data, calculate my statistics. Uh huh. Betting on matches 10 at once. Uh huh. Gonna need some fun. Uh huh. Uh huh. The unbeaten legend. Uh huh. Baldi the tenure. Okay. <laughs> Because I uh -huh, never fail to tabulate data, it helps me win. Uh huh. Okay, this guy seems like a narcissistic prick. Argus smile tell me he's a top fighter with a lot of experience. Uh-huh. Oh my god. So it's still not over 9,000 though. fight this way uh-huh uh-huh inept weak face weak build weak aura uh don't judge a book by its cover though 33 <laughs> there's nothing about this match worth watching Oh my god, and it's gonna be wrong. Oh. Okay, why is it down? Gonzalez tripped and fell. Huh? What? <laughs> She saw it. That punch to the chin. No two. Ooh, that's two punch to the chin. She saw it. Oh my god, he's just making excuses. What a narcissistic brick. He needs to be sodomized. Uh-huh. So you're gonna get you're gonna get banged my boy so he's going to fight fight uh Jemina tomorrow adieu I'm back from my dump uh 
Aha. Aha. A look on her face. Oh, she's doing this for her. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh my god, it looks like a severed head at the top of his bed. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, that slime mask looks like a severed head in the top of his head. What's an incident? Stab her fiance. What? What? Oh no, she's doing this for you. I don't want to get married. What? <laughs> Oh my god, princess! Or was she set up? I don't know. There must be uh, a setup here. Maybe the cult is trying to discredit the royals. Or then again, it is in her character to like stab someone. Oh no, no, that's Alexia. Huh, I didn't expect Rose to do something like that. I think there's foul play involved here. Or she did stab her fiance because she wants to get married to Sid. But she's gonna lose her, uh, I don't know, her status royal? Oh, uh, is this? Oh, it's the, is this? Uh, Epsilon? Yeah, it's Epsilon, the, the girl with the fake boobs. She's wearing a nurse outfit. How adorable. Arigato! Uh-huh, okay. Uh... Anyway, uh, so basically, Sid, my boy. Let me gather my thoughts. Though. Give me a few minutes. Um, so basically, uh, there's this tournament right now. It's happening. It's Motion Festival, and my boy is like living his dream. I thought that first he's going to like uh, reveal himself as someone as Sid as strong, but you know he just got himself with this guy. The weird thing about this here is his name is Jemina, but. I don't know, should we follow the Jemina or gonna follow the translated one, which is Mundane Man? Hmm. And, yo, uh, Perv Asshat is the... Uh... What you call this? The other guy? Anyway, um... So, let's have, let's have a recap of this episode. So, in this episode, my boy... Uh, is fulfilling one of one otaku's dream which is to be considered a weak protagonist but you're strong so he's doing this in this festival and he hides himself it uh, looks like we're gonna have a new waifu this uh, i like the design of the new girl like she's i forgot her name already but uh it looks like she's some sort of paladin but you know uh, normally paladin girls have blonde hair that's the stereotype either blonde hair or white hair or red hair that's the most common this, this is the first one i saw she has violet hair it's not purple it's like bluish violet uh which is kind of nice i like her design so she's kind of cute are we going to see her at the end of the i don't know the puzzle is all about the shadow garden girls anyway but i think we're gonna have a new waifu uh also rose stabbed her fiance uh i don't know if it's true it must be foul play because she is a princess so someone must have been pulling the strings in order for her to stop being a princess or you know make her lose political power maybe that's it uh someone must have been pulling strings or shit or she really did stab him i don't know uh but uh you have sid as well uh playing his uh playing his role uh becoming like this weak ass man and i think he's going to win the tournament he's just too fast but i think the girl knight is uh onto him onto him but she saw him she saw him she can see speed so she must be a very talented knight and sin is putting up an act for her for some reason i don't know maybe she's a, she's his type or is she just he's just playing with her or something like that but 
you know, this is... Oh man, I just can't wait for the next episode, man. This anime is amazing. So we have five episodes left before this uh, anime ends. So I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next reaction. This is Sai, your anime protagonist VTuber. Uh, oh yeah, any more, more anime reactions, you should check out my channel, okay? Uh, see you guys next time. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.